And uh, they're off. Annihilator leaves. No sex, please. Marching now to the front end. Rushing up on the far outside comes thinking out loud. And out front, it's Malabrigo. Better than Cheddar closing up on the outside. Some beach somewhere comes into the stretch. A guy in a horse suit's closing fast. Sand pale to the roar of the crowd. Better's delight has got it. It's whip it good. Who farted in the winner's circle? And what is your favorite horse name and why? And if it's one of your horses, what's the story behind the name? Well, I mean, I always love the name Rub and Tug. I don't, I'm not sure how they got that one through, but uh, it's always been a, a name that I uh, get a chuckle every time I hear it. Well, just on a comedic note, probably my favorite name is Rub and Tug. Well, I guess one of the favorite horses' name that I have is a horse uh, named Trevor Herbert, who was actually named after me. And uh, he was, that was quite a few years ago. That was back in the early 80s, I believe. Um, no. I was in the early 70s. <laughs> I'm aging myself. Uh, but anyways, he turned into be not a bad uh, type sire steak horse. So he was likely my uh, favorite name for a horse. May not be my favorite, but one that stands out. Uh, I remember forever since the 80s, uh, Percy Dove tonsils. And I don't know where that came from. Probably one of my favorite horse names, of course, is Donna Lee because that's named after my mom. And we waited till she was ready to baby race before we changed her name because I wanted to absolutely positively make sure that she was okay before I changed her name. So, you know, and then, of course, we had, uh, we had, uh, I had a filly this year that uh, won her first three lifetime starts, and I changed her name to somebody that I used to know after the song this year. And, uh, you know, it's just a great name. It fit the filly very well, and she showed up and did some good for us, had some success at the Meadowlands, and I just, that was always a name I really liked because it just fit the horse very well. I guess maybe it should be Ralph Hanover because he won the Triple Crown, and he was a Ralph. I mean, he was a... Uh the most adaptly named horse that because he was just a Ralph is what he was. Plain and simple but got the job done. No sex please. <laughs> just because it's a good name and the horse is great. My favorite horse's name is Yankee Look and why? Because he won the last race for me. Cash Ricardi because it's my, for my grandson. Uh, recently I'd have to say Piston Broke. I never really read into it much further than just uh, Piston Broke but after I looked into it a little bit more, I got a good chuckle out of that, and it suits uh, suits a lot of horsemen. Uh, I used to have, own a horse called Kixum, but he was he had a soft spot in my heart, so I'll go with him. I really like that name, Some Beach Somewhere. I think it's for obvious reasons. Probably Some Beach Somewhere. That's a good name. He was a great horse. Mine right now is Some Beach Somewhere. I don't care, just because he was a good horse and and his name is good. Uh, Some Beach Somewhere is a pretty cool name. It's about the only one that comes to my head right now, but I, like, I love that name. Man. It was a great horse, so it worked out good. I always like Whip It Good. Uh, it ties into racing, of course, with whipping. Uh, not overly whipping, though. And, uh, yeah, the Devo song and stuff like that. You could always have fun with it in race calls, so I guess Whip It Good. Plus, he was a good old horse. He still is. We had one years ago. We bought as a yearling, and my son was only by five or six at the time, and he was into the Ninja Turtles, and we... We changed his name to Cowabunga Kyle, and he actually made the papers lots, and it wasn't for doing good. He, he probably had the longest string without winning a race, so that, so that, that was kind of a neat name. That, that he was into the Ninja Turtles, and his name's Kyle, so that's kind of a kind of a throwback for us. He, he, uh, that's probably one of the one that we named ourselves that was kind of neat. Probably Malabrigo because uh, you know she uh, probably helped me get my uh, O'Brien nomination this year. She won 16 in a row. I'll probably not have that again. China Pearls is, <laughs> she's my, uh, that's, that's a name I really like. And uh, I, I like her. I uh, little horse there, I liked his name. Uh, it was Little Bang Bang was his name. It was kind of catchy. Oh, there's one pink kangaroo is an old favorite, but uh, I'm not going to go into the story behind that one. Um, I, I've got a lot. Guts, I used to love that. Just just short and sweet and, and a great name. On the road again. You know, most of the good horses seem to have good names. Put on a show is a good name. My competition tonight, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, is a, a, a great name. Annihilator was a great name. I didn't pick one, I'm sorry. I'll pick Leaf Nation, I guess, because I like John and my police. So. And he win tonight, so. <laughs> I had a 
cornbread, I named him myself quite a few years ago. His name was, I named him Snooze You Lose. And I just kind of like that name. We had Mopey Corey, that was a good one. Uh, it was named after a, a guy that was working for us at the time, Corey McPherson. And uh, he just, you know, dragged his feet around. He was always dopey, and the horse was the same way, so he called him Mopey Corey. And, uh, you know, he, he, ended up, he ended up making good money. He's still racing, he's still a nice horse, yeah. Would probably have to be eating roadkill. He uh, he used to race down at uh, on the wake circuit and stuff, and I always liked it because I don't know, it's just a different name. I'm gonna say Big Jim because he was good to me and uh, had a lot of fun driving him. So he's just he's had a big heart. I've had a lot of good named horses. Um, I'm gonna say better than Cheddar right now. Like he's my most current horse that I really like his name, and uh, it's just a really cool name. Um, as you guys seen, Ross Warner came out with those cheese head cheese hats last year, and uh, I thought it was the most craziest thing I've ever seen. I didn't know about it when he did it the first night, and uh, but I thought it was kind of cool. It kind of got the fans asking a lot of questions, wondering what's going on, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. Probably my favorite's just a lad, probably because he was my favorite horse of all time. Uh, Arva Crest of Gogol probably was the best horse that I, that I ever drove. He was a free-for-all trotter in Toronto. My favorite horse name is uh, actually, uh, I'd say uh, KG Explorer, because he's one of my pets. Uh, I'd say Daddy Mac to this point, just because he got my fastest mark. Well, favorite horse name, I see her race every week at Flamborough, is your mom. John Gouvier, I don't know if he owns it, but he trains it, and uh, it's just... It's hilarious because you can make so many jokes, obviously, with that name, and it's just an odd name for the name a horse, your mom, so I think that's cool. Your mom is my favorite horse name, I guess, just because we get a little carried away in the driver's room, I guess, calling races up there with using your mom in it. <laughs> uh, your mom. <laughs> it's, it, it speaks for itself right there. It, uh, a lot of the drivers, we have fun with that name, so it, it, I just like it just because it's funny. Well, it'd be luck of Michelle because on my... Uh trophies at home it says luck of michelle so <laughs> i don't think i'll ever have one of those again so majestic sun because it made lots of money for us so i guess that's always a, a reason to like a name there used to be a horse race at the meadowlands called jet jockey and he used to come flying from off the pace all the time the announcer it was uh who was oh, I, his name's slipping my mind it was right before ken morgan they got there but anyway he used to get he, he Jet Jockey, you know, would make his move on the other. He'd say zooming by, and uh, me and my buddies, we were younger then, we used to used to watch the races in a, a bar in Mississauga there, the Meadowlands, watching the simulcast. Uh, it was just fun. It was a horse we used to, you know, throw a couple dollars down every Saturday night and had some fun. Actually, it was a, I think he was a thoroughbred named Hoof Hearted. That's just, how can you not like that? Hoof Hearted? Hoof Hearted. <laughs> just as you mentioned that, I, I thought of a thoroughbred that used to race called Worth Her Oats and Gold, uh, I thought was a, was a cute name. Um, I remember as a kid a, a, a cheaper horse racing around Barry called M.T. Your Pockets. I thought that was a great name. Uh, there's a pretty good one from here about seven or eight years ago. His name was Majorly Screwed, but it was spelled Major Lee's Crude. So uh, when Rick Uppel said it, it came out as Majorly Screwed and it, it always made me laugh. I have a horse called You Gotta Like Him, so you pretty much gotta like him. And I have another one called uh, She's Got Rules. I like that name. Is there a story behind that name? Well, me and my young lad, uh, my son, uh, we nicknamed it, uh, nicknamed the horse MJ after its mo after uh, my wife. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, she wasn't too happy with the nickname, but uh, it's stuck ever since. I named a yearling. I use all my own name, Knight. See through Knighty. Nice. <laughs> and they let it go. Oh, well, we trained one little horse that's here right now, and his name is Better to Win. And I thought it suited him, and it it uh, goes along with his breeding. And I just thought it was a really good name. You know, like like Better's Delight, you know, that that's a good name, you know. Somebody comes to the track and wants to bet some money on a horse, Better's Delight's a great one. There's a lot of great names out there, you know? A horse that raced out west a while ago, Better From Behind. I always thought that was a pretty good name for a horse. And ironically, she always raced on the front end. I had a little horse called uh, Snipper, which uh, my daughter owned. And uh, he was a great little horse. He, uh, 
he lived up to his name all the time because if he was in range, he could snipe both most of them most of the time. He was a great little horse. Uh, I would like to say uh, Goliath by Emma. Uh, he's the first uh, homebred that he gave me a lot of thrills, and I thought his name was just great. I just have to go with Sandpail because uh, it's one that everybody knows, and uh, you know he kind of put me on the map. I don't, I don't know. I think Sandpail is a great name for a, for a great horse. Um, I, I, I don't think I could pick one other than that. I really think Sandpail is a really cool, uh, really cool name for a great horse. I'd have to say the horse's name was Dream Account. She was a pacing filly that a buddy of mine I went to high school with approached me to take her on a deal to train back when I was training a lot of horses and well, I took the horse on a deal and she turned out to be a nice little filly made us some money and that's how we got our first little chunk of cash to buy our first house. One of my, my, my dad's favorite horses that he owned and you know one of the favorite horses that I watched was a horse named uh, Touch of Jazz. <clears throat> so I always thought that was a nice name and you know something that people remembered and even to this day I'll, I'll, people will come up and say Dad, Jack I remember you know when you had this horse and um, that was kind of one of my favorite horses so I'll go with, go with her. Probably most happy Collins because he was probably the best two-year-old Pacer I ever I ever driven, and he died at his, as a three-year-old. But you know, I thought that name was a. He would have been a great sire too. So it's too. But he was my most happy fellow, and uh, he was a great. He was a great two-year-old, and he was a great three-year-old too. He died uh, as his three-year-old year in November. So, uh, but uh, I, I thought it was a real nice name for a real good horse. You know. Button up, uh, solid old campaigner. He's seven hundred thousand plus and uh, we've had them forever so probably piece of art um, that was a horse we bred raced and uh, he was very good to us uh, my favorite horse name is Puff Mummy um, as a kid I used to listen to Puff Daddy a lot growing up and I always thought what it would be like if Puff Daddy had a girlfriend and she was a horse so it, uh, I named one Puff Mummy and that's that's my favorite I named her and that's my favorite name of all time definitely there was a story going around the Maritimes. My father and I argue all the time, and he was up at Christmas one time, and we were at the keg, and uh, we were, I was about to go to Georgian Downs to, to race. He said, oh, I'll come with you, big dog, and he went to jump in the truck, and of course, I didn't even get out of the parking lot. He's already starting in, and we're already ju I, I just put it, I get out, out of the truck right now. I threw him out in the keg parking lot. So by the time it got back to PEI, it was, I threw him out in the side of the 401. So I named the horse 401 Freddy. It was, it was funny. <laughs> I really thought the name Dirty Sanchez was hilarious. Every time that horse raced, that was funny.